Hey, what's up everyone? We are here at Vibe Juniors, and of course we have the amazing Contour Hooligans, and we got my man right here. What's up, John Ha? What up, what up? How you doing? Way too long. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good. So real quick, when you come out to dance events like this, how fun is it? I mean, you got, you guys have a packed booth right now. The show's going down, but you still have a packed booth. You guys are selling merchandise. Like, how fun is it to be in the community and kind of, you know, selling your gear? Um, it's always a pleasure. I, I can't stress how much it is to, to actually have the community support since day one. And uh, every year it just gets bigger and bigger and just everyone's showing their love from all around the world. It's amazing. Now, tell people that don't know, like, why is Vibe Junior such like a good event to come out to? Um, well, it's... I think it's more consistency. You see um, events, brands, they come and go. And uh, the ones that do stick are definitely Vibe, Body Rock, you know, yeah. the big name ones. So if you have Vibe for this many years and they just invested their time and money into bringing out the community more for Vibe Juniors, they're definitely doing something right and you want to stick with that. And you guys, uh, you, you don't have anyone out here, but of course your good bro, uh, Ricky Cole, he's, he's uh, his crew's out here. So fresh. Yeah, so fresh. Uh, so fresh clothing and so fresh fam. They're, uh, they're definitely doing their thing on stage, representing the community and everybody who just like loves to strive for something yeah. more in this passion. And uh, they're definitely uh, amazing dancers. And also... Um, CJ, yeah, CJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some of the the um, their squad out here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's it's crazy to see the community coming from all over the place. It's that's what some vibes all about, really. And all the other dance events like this. It's just, I love it. Now we got to ask you, what? Uh, oh, there's CJ over there. We were just talking about him. Tall little white boy. Now, um, you know, unfortunately, ABDC was canceled. You guys were fortunate enough to be on the last season. What is it like? I mean, you guys got to be a part of it. How do you feel about it getting canceled? Um. Well, personally, I, I've, I've talked to the crew uh, a couple times, uh, not as a group, but individually, and it, we all pretty much said the same thing, where it's pretty cool that we were the last episode yeah. uh, to air before it got shut down. Um, now we're going to talk about why we thought it got shut down, but <laughs> the fact that it did, and we actually are remembered to be the last season, yeah. uh, made an impact on the community and just the general public in America. It's, uh, it's That was our goal, and it was, uh, it was amazing to be a part of it, uh, to... Uh, I don't know, to get recognized yeah. and to show everyone that back in our roots, where we came from, and just like to bring the community with us Absolutely. on TV. So. so you're part of the last crew. Now, how is the crew? I know you guys are always traveling somewhere. How, how is everybody? I mean, do you guys, I think you guys, didn't you guys like come together for Thanksgiving or am I making that up? Um, no, only a few of us. Throughout the whole year, ever since the show, actually, we have not been a whole crew. Wow. It's, it's, it's just how we are and we've expected it, but uh, we actually, all got together for the first time at Wad Hawaii just this past weekend. Yeah, how was that? Um, as always, it's great to see all the fam come out. We had we had about 24 people on the plane. Uh, the most wanted crew, Wad fam. Everybody just wants to go to Hawaii because, of course, it's Hawaii. Hawaii. Um, <laughs> but definitely, everyone like scheduled uh, their work and everything around going yeah. to Hawaii for at least. Um, just that that weekend and it was amazing to see them now there. put us with you guys like when most wanted crews together you guys are all in hawaii and stuff how crazy does it get you guys are some crazy <laughs> mofos like what is it like when you guys are all together just like rummaging through hawaii um it gets hectic i mean uh when you have most wanted crew alone it, uh i have i i, I just bought a gopro a okay. gopro so um i was taking footage of the whole trip and from right when we were at the airport the uh, didn't seem like the life ever let down so um, it, it was uh, it was different. I would say it would be different for the fact that we were around Myron the whole time, yeah. and Myron is known for his his amazing <laughs> abilities in hosting people yeah, and yeah. nightlife. So it's almost like we didn't sleep at all. Yeah. But uh, it was it was good uh, to be in Hawaii and expe uh, experience all of that with the crew. Yeah. So. And then lastly, what's what's next for you guys? I mean, 2013 is coming up. What's next for you guys? What's next for the crew? What's next for you personally? Um. Dang, 2013, definitely the crew, uh, we're trying to figure out what's new. We had a, a little bit of talks between every member, but we have to have a meeting, which is actually gonna be next week, to discuss exactly what we're gonna be aiming for in 2013, because when we were developed in 2010, the big thing was that we came together. And then 2011, we auditioned for the first time. And 2012, we made it and we yeah. uh, got on a show. Now, 2013, we're like, what's new, what's next? So we have a lot of concepts for videos and just different ways to portray dance to the community, but it's kind of on a down low and we yeah. still need to talk about a lot of things. But right, You'll have to let us know when you guys figure it out. What are you asking for for Christmas? Uh, everyone be safe out there. Um, 
keep the friends and family that I have now and hopefully create some new ones. Yeah, now before we go, you gotta, t you gotta talk about the new, swag, the new swag. So we got four of them right there. Word. Um, these new swags, basically, uh, it was our, our creation of sweats, uh, the comfort of sweats with a peel of slacks. Yeah. So when you wear these, basically, um, you feel comfortable and you look good. There's really no going wrong there. It has uh, pretty much custom things everywhere. The button itself, it says HGNS. On the back, we have a leather pad. It says Contour Hooligans. Um, it has zippers, pockets, all four pockets, and belt loops all the way around. So basically, if you need a belt or you want to look good and fancy in it, you can do so. We have four colorways so far coming out with a fifth uh, next month. And, uh, Hot pink, right? Hot pink? Oh, uh, definitely. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Now, real quick before we go, I got to say, I mean, I hope the camera shows it, is that these, you can really wear, th these look like you could wear them like out and they're probably comfy as hell. Oh, definitely. Um, we've, we've done, take it the wrong way, but we've done tests yeah. and it sounds crazy like that, but literally we gave them to B-Boys, I gave them to my, my brother Rick Rock. I was like, do flares, do, do everything you can, stretching them, see if they, they can last the durability and they, they rocked well. I wore them out to uh, the club and they're club tested. Yeah. They all said, like, I even got stopped by some bouncers like, yo, man, you those look fly, what are those? I was like, well, they're actually sweats and then they trip out every time I yeah. say that. Um, and after the club, I was too tired one night and I just went back to sleep and it still felt comfortable. Yeah. So we developed some pants that we just wanted to be universal for yeah. all purpose, you know, you don't have to wear it for one particular reason and then go out and look awkward. Yeah. So like, even after dance rehearsals, you could go out and still look fly, so. That was the purpose of it, and so far it's been selling really well. We've been selling out all the sizes, um, and we just made a big um, investment in like a whole reorder. So, yeah, just hoping that uh, the community really realizes that this product is not really like out there. So, get it while you can. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, support. So they got to go to the website contourhooligans.com. Yes, sir. Contourhooligans.com. All right. Well, thank you for always talking to us. As you can see behind us, it is packed here at the Contour Hooligans booth. And of course, we got my man John Ha from Most Wanted Crew, GRV, representing. Word. Peace out, Cub Scouts.